This video is brought to you by Steamforce Games and their upcoming Kickstarter for Animal Adventures The Faraway Sea. And by The Deck of Many and their animated spell cards. Hello and welcome to the Gallant Goblin. Today we have a new pack of pre-painted minis from WizKids. This is Summoned Creatures Set 1, a collection of five minis that are supposedly frequently summoned by your casters. Many thanks to WizKids for sending it to us to review. Summoned creatures are often the bane of a DM's existence. They add complexity to encounters and make combat last a little bit longer than it usually does. But having a really nice looking mini to drop on the table when a creature is summoned somehow makes it all worth it. So let's take a look at what's in our first of two sets here. First we have a Needle Blight, which to me is one of those early foes that players face when they wander into a forest that has any sort of magical connection. And even though they're fairly benign by themselves, they're able to release a pollen when they detect a threat which calls other Needle Blights to them, creating a walking dead situation where a party is suddenly set upon by lumbering creatures from all directions in the middle of the forest. Just great stuff. They have a CR1 quarter stat block in the Monster Manual. Here we have an Orox. In the Orc Pantheon, you might know Groomsh and Luthic, but did you know that those two had a son named Bogtru, who was the Orc god of unbridled strength? This is actually the god that many of the Orcs consider their patron of choice. Well, when the mighty Bogtru needed a mount, he sought out an Orox, which is essentially a war bull. Now, Orcs often keep stables of these beasts to carry them into battle too. They're often considered honored members of the orc tribe, and it'll be helpful to have at least one when the orc warband comes up from WizKids. The Orox has a CR2 beast stat block in Volo's Guide. Well, Joseph's gonna like this one. Our giant goat mini. Did you know that there was a giant goat stat block in the basic rules? Well, there is. It's a CR1 half beast. Along with the usual methods of summoning a beast, the giant goat can be summoned from a rust bag of tricks. Besides being pretty strong, they're able to charge at foes to knock them prone, and they're hard to knock over themselves, being quite sure-footed. They can be summoned with the ivory goat's figurine of wondrous power, too. We always need more horse minis, and especially cool war horses like this. War horse is hard to say. When you need an appropriately austere mount for your noble paladin or fighter, what better than a war horse? They have an overland speed of 60 feet and can trample foes and knock them prone. They have a CR 1 half beast stat block in the basic rules and can be the target of a fine steed paladin spell. If you need some horse armor, Bethesda can sell you some DLC. And if things go poorly for your trusty war horse because you are too cheap for that horse armor, there is a war horse skeleton mini in the Icons of the Realms Boneyard set. Finally, we have the next step up from the Warhorse, the Pegasus, which can be the target of a find greater steed spell. Honestly, is there any better reason to be a paladin than having the ability to summon a Pegasus, a Paraton, a Sabertooth Tiger, or a Rhino as a mount at 13th level? Too bad most adventure paths end at 12. The Pegasus has the same 60 foot land speed as the Warhorse, but adds a super fast 90 foot fly speed on top of that. It has a CR2 stat block in the basic rules. It's tagged as a celestial and not a beast, so you can't summon it quite as easily as you could the other beasts in this set. Now this is just a weird collection of creatures. Some of them make some sense under the summoned creature umbrella. The warhorse and the pegasus for the paladin, the beasts like the giant goat, and the aurochs since they can be summoned with a conjure animals or conjure face spell. But if there's a way to summon a needle blight, I really don't know what it is unless you're talking about the needle blight summoning other needle blights. So I can't say something like, this set is great for your paladin friend who summons a lot of steeds, or this is great for your druid if they need more beast forms. It's really gonna come down to if you need most of these random creatures in this box. I would love to see some sets based around certain spells like conjure steed or certain items like the various bags of tricks. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to buy a box that has all the minis in a gray bag of tricks, for example, and it came with a little gray velvet pouch that had like little tokens of each creature inside of it? I mean, I'd buy that in a heartbeat and just introduce it into all my games. But let me know what you think of this set in the comments section down below. It has an MSRP of $39.99 and it's expected to be conjured in July 2021. Many thanks to Hit Point Press and their deck of mini animated spell cards. We reviewed the, their first sets of animated reference cards about a year ago in a video that you can watch up there in that flow 
floating eye. Now they have a whole new set of cards filling out those higher level spells, plus giving you some fun things like animated condition spells, townsfolk NPC decks, and cool illusions. They're helpful reference cards to have those rules handy when you need them during gameplay. And they just look amazingly cool and they're cool to play with. Check out their discounted pre-order bundles now before the sale ends. Just visit animatedspells.com. Finally, thank you to Steam Force Games and their upcoming Kickstarter for Animal Adventures The Faraway Sea. I am so excited to get the next book in the Animal Adventures line. This series allows you to play as awakened dogs and cats in a brand new setting that fits right into your regular D&D games. Play as a wide variety of cats and dogs, and the Faraway Sea introduces a ton more in their new island setting. Plus some awesome new minis by Master Russ Charles, who makes minis for Critical Role. The Kickstarter launches on July 20th, and don't miss out on the Kickstarter exclusive Baby Kraken Mini. That's Animal Adventures to the faraway sea. And thank you for watching today. Come join our Patreon family at patreon.com slash the gallant goblin. You can also check out our latest shirts and hoodies and tank tops and free 5e supplements at gallantgoblin.com slash shop. Liking the video here helps other people find us and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Come join the conversation on our Discord server and you can also join us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For now, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <music>